Weatherly Cazzo. I'm an artist here in uh, Chacoinity, Washington, North Carolina. And here we are today at the North Carolina Estuarium. And I have a solo exhibition inside. And we wanted to do a virtual tour for you since uh, the Estuarium has been closed since the middle of March for the COVID pandemic. And we wanted to give you an opportunity to see the show. Welcome. Come on inside. My name is Russ Chesson. I'm the educational specialist here at the North Carolina Estuarium. The Estuarium is a one-of-a-kind museum that promotes the nature, culture, and history of the estuary and the estuary region in North Carolina. The artists that we choose are all local artists. We ask them to come and exhibit their work as a way to sort of illuminate the art scene in Washington, which is in turn promoting the culture of the area. The history, we have a lot of great artists who come from the area, and then the nature, most all of our artists, we find that artists are a lot of times great naturalists as well, and they sort of show and tell about what the nature of the area is. Hi, I'm Jackie Weatherly Cazzo, I'm a textile artisan, and I do nature-inspired art, and I recently started painting on acrylic, again after about 14 years, so um, most Half the show is textile art and half the show is acrylic paintings and it's all nature inspired. <laughs> I do nature inspired art because that's what I love. When we first moved to Little Washington back in New Year's Eve of 2018, I found this really cool facility here on the waterfront. It's on the Pamlico River outside and it's where the ocean meets the river so it's brackish water and thus called the estuarium and I came in to see what it was all about and I noticed that there was um, other art people having shows and I asked about it and he said oh, we just need to get you on the schedule and I was like great let's do it <laughs> and here we are it's I was scheduled to be a two-month show from March 3rd through the end of April and then of course the pandemic hit so we now have it I think it was up for two weeks and then it closed and it's been closed and so Russ has allowed us to come in and do this virtual tour so we can put it online so people who weren't able to come in and see the show can come in and see the show. Um, and that's what we're going to do today. The three pelicans are out in the front along with um, tricolor heron and a frog and kingfisher and uh, a fourth pelican and a waterfront scene of uh, Mandio Marshland. So all of those are on acrylic and we came up with the names because the one in the, the center pelican has a very intense look about him and my husband said, ooh, James, James Pelican. And I was like, oh, I like that. So we went ahead with that and also continued to name the other birds after other Bond characters in his favorite shows. And so that's how we ended up with that. Normally I'm a textile artist, but this time I decided to do some acrylic as well as textiles because oftentimes people are afraid of textile art and don't wish to buy textile art because they don't know how to take care of it or handle it or deal with it in general. So, um, and acrylic is a normal everyday artist medium that people are used to and they tend to purchase more acrylics than they do textile. Um, as for the Kingfisher, he was my first painting. He was my first inspiration from a photograph that I had found online. Um, and I love the color. He was a kingfisher that was photographed in the UK. It's not a common one here. So um, that's what the color basically inspired me for him. The frog was another um, card, actually, a photograph of a frog that I had bought from another artist at another venue years ago. And he was just inspiring. So I painted him as well. The marshland was from a uh, photograph of, taken by a gentleman in Mantio in the Wanchese area and he gave me authorization to use his photograph and uh, it was inspiring so I painted that as well. I do get authorization from all the artists that I use their material. Yeah. Um, bold bright colors for me, that is my signature medium I guess you, said, you could say and it, people recognize that color because that's what I like, it makes me happy and I hope that it brings happiness to others when they see it. Okay, so the free-flowing scarf in the middle, I wanted it to be free-flowing because it brings attention to it and that way when people see it, they're like, oh, that's interesting. And they'll go up and look at it and maybe, I don't mind if they touch it. Some people are like, no, don't touch art, but that's not a big deal. 
I make textiles like that with um, pre-manufactured scarves that I buy. They're blanks, so they're white when you buy them, and they're already hemmed, and I stretch them, and then I paint on them, and steam set them, and there you have it. I have two 3D pieces in the show. Um, both are sculptural, and one is a dragonfly, and one is a seahorse. And the, they're both made out of fabric, wire, and miscellaneous other fabric materials. And um, one has, okay, the seahorse has uh, some dyed silk pieces, or I guess little wings, or fins, I guess they're called. And then the, um, the dragonfly also has some uh, bits that are hand dyed, and uh, there's some beads added to him for a little bit of bling. <laughs> crocheted uh, eyeballs and all kinds of fun stuff. So they're all sculptural with wire to start with as a base and then fabric and stuffing. And people can see more of my art on my website at thetextileartisan.com and um, if you have any questions there's a comment box there or you can email me at info, I guess it's info at thetextileartisan.com as well. We have a variety of things. Um, on the store. So we have original artworks as well as reproductions, cards, and Enjoy the show.